I am Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HDS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The ePoll is brought to you by Flow for the moments that move us. All for great savings, right? Flow gives you up to $80 a month off your mobile by just adding it to your home bundle. Enjoy the fastest internet speeds and free mobile calls from your home phone. Plus HBO and free internet speed upgrade. That's more value while you spend less. Switch today. Bundle and save up to $80 a month off your mobile. Call us at 1-800-804-2994 or visit us in store. Flow, keeping you connected. Terms and conditions apply. The National Insurance Corporation's contribution to workers who had lost their jobs as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic comes to a close at the end of September. The NIC's support was a lifeline for thousands of beneficiaries, for some, the only source of income during this period. So we asked, should the NIC's contribution to the workers who lost their jobs as a result of the pandemic be extended? We tied the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 42% said yes, 42% said no, 11% did not know, and 5% had no comment. We also took to the streets to get your opinion and here is what you had to say. Well, we have to be very careful with the NIC funds because it is a pensioner's money. I, I believe in the first place that people who contributed, or who contributed on a regular basis should be the ones benefiting from, from those funds. The other people who, who are employed, especially in the hotel industry and so on, I mean, where, where, where does the government come in? The government now has to, has to come in and assist its people. But the NIC funds is, should be used strictly for, for the pensioners. So extending it beyond September, I mean, what will happen when, when these 30 year olds right now reach the pension age? Will, 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 will the, the age again be lifted and people have to now retire at 70 and 75 or when they're dead is, is that a move to to kill kill them to extinguish and retire retiree people from, from from the earth so we have to be very careful in the nice funds yes you extend it but to those who are contributing a lot of persons depend on it especially single mothers and even fathers too who are unemployed they need it to help pay their bills and to take care of their families. However, uh, there are two sides to a coin. The NIC has to be very careful. I believe that if they are not careful, in the years to come, they will suffer a big depletion in the amount of um, cash that they collect because the people who are supporting them are not uh, they are not um, in the in the majority now they are they are sort of in the minority and some of them are not working so how will the funds how can we expect the funds to grow and be strong enough to support the future generation yes I believe so to a certain extent but they just have to go about it very cautiously because in the long run with all the young people who is paying NIC. When they will reach the age, sometimes the NIC might run out of funds, but I notice that the NIC are reinvesting the, the funds, which is a very good thing. So I believe they should. I think in the first place that the government should have taken a loan from the NIC. I don't think it's a good idea where the NIC just pays out, pays out, pays out, because I mean, it's not like it's a, a fund that will never come to an end. If we, if we are not careful, we might exhaust the NIC before people who are younger than me and 21 and 22 years old who have now started contributing can get their, their pension and gratuity and whatever else is due to them. If you look at it from a humanitarian standpoint, I think that it should be extended because it's very unfortunate when people lose their employment from a situation like COVID. And I think everything needs to be done in order to assist them. However, we also must take into consideration how long can that source of, of funds be maintained? And I think it's from that standpoint we need to, to really give consideration to, because um, I think the NIC would have a limited source of funding that they, would, that they can extend to people. And at one point in time, it will definitely come to a, they will have to take a decision as to whether they can continue to pay, um, to pay people. And I think that should be extended because um, 
And I see Canada for to pay every people out there. I think the best thing um, they, sh they should do, the government should do, is to take a loan, something like that, so that they will always have money, so that people, especially the young people, when they reach in the age, they will still have money to pay them. I think they should continue it, but um, they should um, be very careful how they're spending the money, and they should reinvest it. I believe it should, but in the same vein, I have my concerns. Reasons being that when the government keeps on giving, 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 giving people monies, what happens is it depletes the funds. Because people who got employed after 2003, they're actually the ones paying NIC funds. And those who are already out of the public service that's paying out NIC funds. Preferably, I would have liked to see government take a loan from NIC and pay back NIC at a low interest rate, so it would be more beneficial to both government and NIC. But presently, the way it is going on, it is depleting the funds and people are, are, are losing their jobs daily. So to me, I believe that in as much as it ought to be extended, government now has to be careful as to how they disperse this, disperse this funds. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The current chairman of the Development Control Authority, Clem Bob, a guest Friday on a radio talk show, suggested that the rules governing the PETO management area are too restrictive and are seriously disadvantaging landowners. So we ask, do you think the ruling do you think the rules governing the PETO management area are too restrictive? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsenusha.org or Facebook at HDSenusha Official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584 for hds That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, here's a reminder of your special voting platform. From your Flow Handset, text your equal response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes, 2 for no, 3 no comment, and 4 I don't know. Join the discussion from your Flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our ePoll team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.